it's Miranda and I'm coming to you with, <laughs> I was going to say 30 inks, 30 days again. <laughs> I haven't recorded a 30 inks video in like a week. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, <laughs> moving along. Um, yeah, so I got, I placed an order back in September for a bunch of Birmingham inks that is all Ms. Turtle's fault over at Pickwick Turtle. She used, um, the, uh, Waterfront Dusk ink in one of her, um, 30 inks videos last month. I placed the order on the 14th, so it must have been day 14. Um, I'll link it up there so you can see it. Um... In case you missed it, which you probably didn't miss it. If you watch me, you probably watch her. And if you don't watch her, you definitely need to, like, watch her. Stop what you're doing right now. Pause this video and go watch her videos. Um, or watch them afterwards. Whatever makes you feel the best. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, I placed an order for basically all the Birmingham inks that were available that I didn't already have. Um... And also one that I already have just as a backup because I liked it so much and I don't want to run the risk of another uh, slag gray incident. And um, yeah, so, <coughs> excuse me, goodness. Um, I just need water. I'm fine. Um, yeah, so I, um, yeah, my order was delayed. I got an email the other day that said, oh my gosh, we're so sorry um, that it's taken so long. Um you know, we're sending it out today. You'll get it soon. Here's a, you know, here's a thing. Thank you so much, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. So, I don't actually know. I know what's in here. I just don't know if there's anything else. I don't think there should be, but I know that. Um, yeah. So, well, anyway, we're just going to go see what I've got. So, we have a giant box of Birmingham eggs. <laughs> And I have a feeling that some of this might have ruined some plans of some friends that I didn't realize. Um, so sorry about that. And if that is true, um, if you want to still send what you may have sent. Anyway, just we'll talk if this ruins some of your plans. I apologize, but we can chat. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and pull out our inks. They're wrapped very nicely. It's like tissue paper, but like not tissue paper. This is really interesting material. I have a feeling it's like, you know, it looks like it's like paper towels kind of stuck to, I don't know. This is interesting packing material. I don't remember this from the last time that I ordered from them. Um, yeah, I'm gonna save some of this because I have some packages to mail out. So this is probably like awesome. So anyway, I have, I think nine bottles of ink sitting here. Um, one of them is one that you saw last time, so I'm not going to swatch it. And the others are either new to me inks or um, new versions of inks I already have, either in sample form or um, already in bottles um, that I got just for the experiment. And that is where I think that I ruined um, somebody's plans because, sorry about that, my friend. Um, again, we can chat. <laughs> We can see how this goes and then we'll chat. So anyway, awesome. So I have a ton of ink and these really cool packing materials that we're just gonna set aside. And I have some coloring cards. I think I grabbed way too many, but let's count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, I counted way too many, but that's okay. I'm gonna need to get a new coloring card actually because I think this is the end. This is all I have left plus whatever extra I pulled out of that um, stack. So anyway, so let's go ahead and lay them out because I just love the way that looks. I just love their packaging. Like, look how pretty it is. I feel like I should have gotten a 10th one just to like complete the whole set. So there we go. That's what that looks like. It's so pretty. Or we could do, how do we want to lay this out? We could do three. If you see this later as a thumbnail, I guess you know what I was doing. I mean, I wasn't trying to do that, but it worked out. Oh my gosh. Look at how pretty they are. I love their packaging. It just, it feels really nice. And like, <coughs> excuse me, 
the like rose gold coppery uh, foiling is like so pretty. Okay, cool. All right, so let's go ahead and open these up and see what we've got. So of the inks that I have that I purchased, um, I purchased a bottle of the new Gunpowder Black because I wanted to compare it. And then also, the actually the ink that started it all is, um, okay, so my swatch is going to look completely wrong because it's blue and it's supposed to be purple, um, but Waterfront Dusk. I loved the color that Turtle got in her video, and I already think that I got a mislabeled bottle. I don't know what blue this is supposed to be, but the swatch on their website looked purple. My ink is blue. Um, yeah. And then the base color she determined for Waterfront Dusk is actually the same base color as uh, Cranberry Twinkle. So um, we're going to look at these. I already know that this is going to be completely different. Um, and then um, Twilight, which used to be called uh, Allegheny River Twilight. Um, this is a sample that I received from my friend Casey. And um, Birmingham Pens Andy Warhol Pop Art Purple. And um, also Alternator Crimson, I'm not going to swatch that because that's one that I just swatched last time. So it's the same formula and I don't feel the need to have another card. So um, yeah, so one of these will not be swatched and that's because we've already done it. You've already seen it. It's amazing. I just bought a backup bottle because I loved it so much. So cool. So we'll set that off to the side. So I'm also going to do, I think, maybe, we'll see how long this takes. I might do some of my Colodex cards. Um, somebody asked, um, I think it was Yvonne, how I like these. And I haven't used them enough to like really form an opinion of it. It's just a system that I want to move t my ink towards. I'm going to have, um, right now I have about five or six color rings. Um, it's probably actually more than that, but I've like combined them together. Um, five or six color rings of like, samples and they're all like separated between like ink flight samples and um samples from my friends um, and all of you guys because you're my friends and um patches is uh i know are there birdies out there are you going to get the birdies mr b patches patches is not as adventurous as pearl so he will not be jumping up on this table pearl's taking a nap i know there's a few of you who are members of the Pearl fan club and she is napping. <laughs> Mr. Patches. Okay. So, um, yeah, I like it. I just want to have a system. I want to be able to, um, put, condense my color rings and make it like a giant rainbow of all the ink that I have or have had. Um, and then I want the cold deck system to alphabetize it by ink and brand name. Like brand name and ink color is what I'm going for. So it's just a thing that I'm very, very, very slowly, very slowly moving towards. I'm starting with my bottles of ink and then I will move on to samples. Um, but since I have new bottles here, I might, this might take too long. I'm not sure. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'm definitely going to do the color rings because that's like my, like my default method of swatching. I might do the decks off camera. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. Oh, I opened it upside down. Okay. So we have Allegheny Arsenal Gunpowder. Well, it's just called Gunpowder now. So that's very nice. I'm very excited about that. Um, and these boxes aren't labeled, so I can just set them off to the side. <laughs> okay. Can I do this without ruining everything? Okay. I'm going to unplug my mic, so you're. it's going to sound weird, but you need to see patches. Buddy! <laughs> Is that your box now? Hi! Say hi to the people! <laughs> okay, so hopefully this... Sometimes... Well, I didn't stop it, but I did um, unplug the mic, so hopefully the audio doesn't sound weird. Oh god, that's terrible. <laughs> so that box is patches now. Um, then we have arugula, which is not, an, I haven't had that ink before, so I'm not familiar with that formula or if it's different from anything else. Um, so I could just like that and not be sad. Snowflake, which I believe is the base color for um, for the, the, uh, the blue twinkle. I forget what it's called, whatever the blue twinkle is called. 
Is it snowflake? No, I don't think it's. It's a wintry theme, though. Um, I keep opening these upside down. Waterfront Dusk, which is one we're going to compare, that I already know is completely wrong, so or completely different, not necessarily wrong. I like the new version better. Um, Alternator Crimson, that's the one that we are not going to swatch because we have swatched that already, so I'm just going to put that back in its box. And we are just going to set that off to the side. We have Pop Art Purple, which is one of the ones that we're going to compare. I think I'm going to group the ones that we're going to compare together away from the ones that we're not comparing, because the ones that we're not comparing, I can just watch and just enjoy. And the ones that we're comparing, I can analyze. <laughs> Cold Steel. Oh, I'm putting that back. Allegheny River Twilight, which is one that we're kind of comparing. So I'll put that like in the middle. I mean, we're comparing to a sample. I don't have a bottle, so I'm not as attached to the formula there, I guess. And then uh, Ice Rink. I'm a huge hockey fan. And this was too fun to pass up. It's a really nice blue. That is good for some people, not for other people. But it's my ink stash, not theirs. <laughs> okay, cool. So I have my paintbrushes. I have my dip pen. I have, do I have a cloth? I have a cloth. Where is my ink cloth? I have no idea where my ink cloth is. So we're going to get some paper towel. And Patches is going to get scared because I'm standing up. One second. Hi, buddy. Excuse me. Is that packing material comfortable to sit on, Mr. B? So I grabbed a paper towel. I have a feeling my ink cloth is in the washer right now because I did um, do some laundry. So I do wash it out from time to time because it gets kind of, I spill ink all the time. Well, not all the time, but like enough that it like gets kind of chunky. So, okay. So we're going to start with the ones that I have not had any experience with because those will be the most fun to just swatch and move on. So Cold Steel and Ice Rink are both blues. Snowflake, well, actually all of these are blues except for Arugula, which is a green. So it's three different shades of blue. Oh, I need paper. I need paper to put under this. I totally just knocked the entire table. I'm so sorry. Okay. This feels like... I don't think this is the same notebook I was using. No, it's not. Anyway, well, we're going to use it now. I think this is the front. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to use it for swatching. Oops. Oh my gosh. Okay. Awesome. So... Here we go. Actually, I'm just going to flip to the middle because that's bothering me. There. So how's everybody doing? I'm going to start with uh, arugula. Which is a very pretty green. Normally I would say that this isn't like a color that I gravitate towards, but after last, th last month's 30 and 30 days, 
Um, yeah, like I totally dig it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really nice. Apparently I have a thing for greens now that I did not always have. It's like muddy and murky and just wow. Oh, I also wanted to get I'm like so prepared. I'm oh, sorry, that's super loud. I wanted to get what these look like on Tamoy River paper, especially for the ones that we're comparing because, um, yeah, I think that that's a good thing to do. So I'm just going to kind of do that off to the side and hope that I remember to do it. So remind me, you guys, okay? Just remind me from the future. <laughs> So that's that one. The writing has some nice shading, but um, it seems like it's kind of flat on the card. And so I don't know if the shading is just because it was on a dip pen or what, but that's a really nice color. Okay, so that's arugula. I'm gonna put them in a box if I have used them. The good thing about their packaging is that it's not really labeled. That's also the bad thing about their packaging because you have to open, like if you keep them in the boxes like I do, and I keep it in the box because my cabinet, it has glass fronts and I don't want it to be light damaged. Um, so, so yeah, so I just keep it in the box so I can keep it in my cabinet because I have more room in the cabinet than I have in the drawers where I keep like the inks that I don't have a choice. Um, if you hear that noise, that's Patches uh, peeing. So sorry about that. I don't know if the microphone will pick it up, and if it doesn't, then I just outed him and his urination habits. Eh, everybody pees though, so it's fine. This next ink that we're doing is Snowflake, which is a very pretty, like, tealy blue. It's like one of the turquoisey blues, I think. Yeah. Very nice. particularly like this blue. Um, I think I got way too much ink on this brush. I definitely got way too much ink. Well, I guess if it sheens, we'll get to see that. Patchy Patches, are you playing with your water? Sorry, blues do not come out of paintbrushes very well, blue inks. So. I don't know that I'm gonna edit this. 
Also, in case anybody was wondering, um, I just thought that I should tell you that me and my Sailor Pro Gear Angels Delight are very happy together. Um, I'm pretty much in love with that pen. We are getting married. You are all invited to the wedding. I have not spoken to my um, wedding party just yet, but um, yes, um, we're going to be very happy together. So I just thought you should know. You heard it here first. Um, where, what is happening? Where did, oh, never mind. I was like, where did I put my bottle of pink? Okay. Okay. So this is kind of what it looks like when I just like expelled the paintbrush. Um, this is kind of juicy, so I'm just gonna flip the page. Um, next up we have, let's see, I think I'm gonna do ice rink because that's the one that I have grabbed. One thing that I noticed, actually, let me pull out an old bottle. Let's see. Oh, no, never mind. Maybe it was just, just a big bottle? Hold on. No, that's a new bottle. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, never mind. I just miss. I miss. I misremembered. I was thinking that they used to have like a rubber stopper, not like a stopper, but like a an insert, kind of in the middle here. But I guess that was a different ink. Maybe that was a different ink. I'm getting my ink brands mixed up. Or maybe it was the bigger bottles? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I was wrong. That's all that counts. So anyway. So yeah. So this entire order, speaking of being wrong, is um, Ms. Turtle's fault. I don't care what anybody else says. I'm blaming this entirely on her because I did not go to their website and buy the ink until she did her 30 inks 30 days and had the pretty waterfront dusk and I just decided I needed to have it. She's not gonna like that I'm blaming it on her because she always blames everything on me and so somehow it's my fault, but <laughs> but um, it's her fault. And I think I'm gonna have to go get a FedEx in a second, I'm not sure. I love this blue. Oh, I guess not. Whoa, this is pretty. It's not as inky as like Twisby. It's not like as like thick as of an ink as like Twisby Midnight Blue, but that's like a really nice shade. Similar in my brain to Twisby Midnight Blue. Like if I wanted that color but didn't want Twisby Midnight Blue, which psh, on what planet would I not want Twisby Midnight Blue? Let's be real. Um, yeah, but it's very pretty and I'm glad that I have it to play with. Whoa. I love this. All my blue people out there, get you some of this. That's really pretty. Look at me remembering to put it on the Tomoe River paper. I always say that I'm going to do that, and then I never do. This blue is just like a really nice basic blue, but like, it's just really pretty. Like, if you're in the market for a new, like, basic blue, I think this would be a good one. And I got it because it's called Ice Rink. And here's the story. One of America's original hockey clubs, the Bankers, played from 1900 to 1909. The team began as a local group of men employed by a local banks. 
that enjoyed the sport and created their own private league. The bankers became one of the first sports teams to pay athletes for participation. Like, how cool is that? Like, how cool is that? Plus, it's hockey. Hockey, hockey, hockey. Hockey is done now, and I'm very sad about it. Although, congratulations to our friend Yobo93 and their uh, favorite team, hometown team, the Tampa Bay Lightning. Oh, this is a good Tampa Bay color. Um, so yeah, oh, that's really pretty. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. I love it. All my blue people. There you go. And we have one more, Cold Steel, Carnegie Steel Company. From working, some, oops, from working 72 hours per week in a Pittsburgh cotton factory at the age of 13, so becoming one of America's foremost industrialists, Andrew Carnegie became an internationally recognized philanthropist and American success story after founding Carnegie Steel Company in 1898. Oh, I found out what the thing was. It was an Amazon package, not the FedEx that I'm waiting on. I'm actually personally not waiting on a FedEx. <clears throat> I just have to sign for something because I'm home. This looks like it's gonna be a nice blue black. Or a very dark blue, I'm not sure. We'll find out. Oh, before I do that, do our dip pen. I'm not gonna do the Colodex at this moment. Um, I, I'll do those when I do the uh, um, when I do the, oh, that's pretty. When I do the, um, ink study thing that I'm doing that I keep promising videos on and still haven't uploaded. This is very dark. Cold steel. It looks almost black. Like, as it's wet, it looks black that's really pretty okay I am a fan of this as well I mean to be honest what am I not a fan of <laughs> I can tell you what I'm not a fan of <laughs> I have two that I'm not a fan of pop quiz in the comments also, speaking of the comments, I know that there have been some viewer requests that I have not yet fulfilled, and I can't not for the life of me, without going back to every single video to read every single comment, remember what the requests were. So if you have a viewer request that you want to see me do a video on, please leave it in the comments, especially if anybody can do it, but especially if you're one that's already requested one and I haven't done it. Um, because I didn't write them down like I probably should have. So let me. Except there, I got it one like just recently, like today, I think it was today, that I wrote down from Sarah, who wants to know if Black Tongue Spider Orchid compares to one of the JR bombings. And I don't remember which one off the top of my head, I was trying to see if I had a sample of it, and I don't. My big giant color ring that is basically everything that's not a pen friend or a bottle drink or an ink flight is not. I didn't find it when I immediately went to do my, well, like went to grab it. It wasn't exact in the exact spot where I thought it was, and I just really want to get this video done so I can get back to work. So, so yeah, so I have that one written down, but if there were any others, I know there were some inks during 30 inks that people wanted to see that I didn't get to. So if you have viewer requests for anything, well, leave it in the comments. That's so pretty. See the writing, probably because it was the dip pen and like the very first dip look looks almost black, but you can see in the swatch it's a really dark, a really, really dark blue, kind of a blue black. That's very pretty. All right, and now we're going to get to the ones where I'm going to compare them. Oh my God, I got a phone call and I don't know where it cut out, but we just started opening Waterfront Dusk. Um, that's the one that doesn't really have a comparison as far as my ink stash is concerned because 
it's completely wrong. Like the ink is this beautiful, like purple color, but my original bottle is blue. Like that's what my original bottle looks like. And the base color of Cranberry Twinkle is what it should look like, or at least purpley. So yeah, so there there isn't really a comparison. I don't know if it was mislabeled or the the they were like tweaking the formulas. I don't know what happened to that. It's it's a pretty ink, it's pretty blue. It's not enough for me to like cause a fuss about. It just wasn't what I was expecting when I ordered it. So So Birmingham. This is waterfront dusk. No. And I can tell you wholeheartedly, I prefer this color slash formulation to the one that I have, to my old one. This is a reverse slag gray. <laughs> So those of you who loved Cranberry Twinkle, but don't want the shimmer, this is the one you need to get. And then for grins, I'm going to swatch my original ink. Oops, I'm going to close that first because we don't want any mishaps. I'm going to swatch what I have from my original bottles right under it. Here's the bottle that I have. And as you can see, it looks more blue. I've even tried like mixing it up because I was like, maybe something settled, but no, it's just, it's not the right color. It looks closer to blue steel than So here it is next to Cranberry Twinkle. This swatch is really dark and this is covered in shimmer so it's not really as easy to compare. But there's that. And then also next to my version of Waterfront Dusk, which is just wrong. Although I feel like the blue looks a little more dusky. I don't know. I love this. I love this more than the original that I have. Alrighty, next up, we have, oops, let me, let me close this. I am trying to be a disaster waiting to happen. Um, next up, we will do Pop Art Purple. So the original bottle is called Andy Warhol Pop Art Purple, and the new one is called A Cat Named Sam Pop Art Purple. And this one doesn't have the story on it, and this one does. So 
Yeah. So I'm going to move this so I don't get it mixed up. And yeah, and we will swatch our new ink. I feel like this purple is almost like an iconic purple in the Birmingham Pens lineup. I feel like if you have not tried, if you have tried a Birmingham Pens ink, it is probably this one. And maybe that's just because I love purple, but I feel like everybody has tried this ink. This definitely looks different, but I like it, so I'm not mad about it. <laughs> um, okay. Oh yeah, that's definitely different, but I, it's really pretty and I like it. Goodness, this brush holds ink. Okay. So for my ink water, I have these two like plastic cups, like red solo cups kind of things from when we had a bunch of red solo cups for I don't know why. It's not like we have parties. Oh, I just smeared it. That's really pretty. Definitely does not look. I mean, it seems like it's darker and not as, I mean, I don't hate it. I almost like the new one better, but I like them both, so cool. Let me close this up and swatch our swatch our original formula. Oh, I didn't write that it was new. Mm. Okay, I'll do that in a minute. Um, let me do a little, a little swatchy swatch. Oh yeah, you can see that it's different. I think this is like a little pinky a little more pink I think there's a little more red maybe in that one I don't know. it's not the same but I'm not mad about it I like both colors Should perhaps not put more ink on this page okay so i'm leaving the recording going while i'm searching for this ink sample and i just wanted to pop in to say that you guys have been so generous like i still have so many samples from you guys that i want to get in pens and i just thank you so much like thank you aha i found it so maybe I won't cut this out. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, 
I have so many inks that I've used and loved. Like Rose Grenade from Creepy Nibs. What else is right here? Have I used any of these that are currently in my hand? I have not, but I want to. Okay. Bunga Box Mahogany. I have Horizon Blue. I don't think I've gotten this in a pen yet, I, but I did the swatch and that's pretty. That's from Pen from Robert. Like, you guys are just so generous. And I cannot thank all of you enough. Okay, just so you see how generous you are, I'm going to lift this up for a second and zoom out because then you'll really be able to see it. I have a gallon size Ziploc bag. These are just samples from you guys. And there's a few that I don't think I put in here that are just in the, they're stored in the pen drawer because like honestly I can't put much more in here. Like this is all from you guys. This is all from all of you. Thank you so much. Like. <laughs> I should really just do November should be pen friend appreciation month, but I really want to get through some of my ink samples, ink flight samples. So that's what November is going to be. And then, um, yeah. And, um, also because, well, because the next 30 inks, 30 days after, after November is going to be, it's not until like April. So I can totally do currently inks and actually I wanted to record a currently inked I was going to do that today and then this showed up so I figured I'd do this first and then um do a currently inked after um oh wait what am I doing sample thing okay so I'm going to do this and then over the weekend at some point I'm going to do a currently inked I don't know if it'll be up tomorrow we'll have to record it still um I don't know if it'll be tomorrow or like Saturday or Sunday I don't know but that's my plan is to do a currently inked because I've had people ask about them it's just hard to do them during 30 inks because well you see what I have currently inked it's all the pen through all the months because <laughs> there's most of them I don't clean out most of them I keep inked and then at the end of the month I just And then at the end of the month, I like evaluate. So if there are combinations that I really, really love, like I'll probably keep it in the pen. And if there are combinations that I didn't enjoy so much, then I will, um, then I usually just like dump the ink. Or if I just want the pen to, to use a different ink, then I'll dump the ink on like one of my Tomoe River notebooks and just like paint with it and make it a color and make it pretty. Which I like, that's the closest I get to art, and I, it's really fun for me to do. So, even though it's like kind of wasteful, it's also not because then I get something pretty to look at. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, so Twilight could also maybe be. I have to look at where I'm gonna have to look. No, Cranberry's a little more purple, Cranberry's more waterfront dusk, I think. And twilight. So yeah. So cool. So I know not everybody that watches my channel is from the United States, but a lot of you are. Have you, um, have you done your voter registration? Well, I mean, the deadlines are in some, like, have happened in some places, but do you have a plan for voting? Are you voting? When are you voting? Can you early vote? It's very important that you make sure your voice is heard. I've been writing voter letters. Unfortunately, I haven't been using fountain pens just because it's like, I don't have, like, I'm not writing these letters on Tomoe River paper, okay? It's just not happening. Um, and the this, like, thing that I'm doing it through, they, spe they specifically say blue ink. And I have blue inks, but I tried it on the paper that I do have, and I just didn't like it. So, <sighs> yeah. So, anyway, yeah. So, make sure you go vote. If you are in the United States or you know, or not, or if you're an American citizen and can do that,
please do. I really love this. Okay, so let's compare it to the sample that I have, which is, okay, it's completely different. <laughs> Like my sample is like kind of a purpley gray and this is like a red. They're both very pretty. I'm not attached to either formula. I think they're both stunning, but again, you're calling it the same thing when it's not. And I kind of have a problem with that. And it's not even as close as like some of the other ones are. So that's my only thing. So anyway, let's go ahead and look at our sample. We shall see about that. Yeah, that's, they're not even remotely the same. <coughs> Excuse me, I definitely need to drink something water-like. Okay, so you can see, like, yeah, they don't even look remotely the same. Okay, that's fine though. We're moving on. Next up, we have gunpowder. Oops, I'm going, that's fine. Birmingham Pens gunpowder, Allegheny Garsnell gunpowder. So this is the new formula, and I wasn't marking which was new and which was old, and that's gonna bite me in the butt later. So I'm gonna. Oh, fitting that I'm using this pen. This pen has Birmingham Slag Gray, the original version in it. So I'm gonna write new. Old. New. Um, this is old. Um, the other ones are drying over there, so I will take care of them when, when we're done here. So we have one more left. Technically two more, because I'm going to do the little comparison. Gunpowder black. This one, at least the original formula, wasn't really black to me. It was like a, kind of a dark gray, but um, still pretty. Oh, I totally forgot to write on there what it is. Going down, it definitely looks more black. I feel it's a better representation of the color name. Although on the Tumway River paper, it looks gray. And on this paper, it looks gray. Dark, dark gray, but gray. I mean, or really light black, I don't know. Sorry, I've got like, I did not do this correctly. PC. all over my hand. Okay, it's still drying, but I feel like it looks more black than the original one, which I'm not mad about. So let's go ahead and swatch the old one on my tumbler over paper and then um, um, and then I'll let my 
card to dry and then I will come back and we will chat about them. So I'm gonna let this let these things dry and I will come back. It'll be seconds for you. It'll probably be like an hour or two for me because I have to get some work done. But here's where we are right now with our swatches. These of course are the ones that we're comparing and then these are the ones that I don't have anything to compare to. But yeah, interesting. Okay, cool. I will see you in a minute to compare some swatches. So, awesome. So, I'm going to start with the um, four that I don't, well, I guess technically five. I only swatched four of them, though. I'm going to start with the ones that I don't have to compare. So, we're going to start with um, Arugula, which is this really pretty, um, like, yellowy green. It's a little um, light, I think, like, in the swatch, um, but it looks like it might have some excellent shading and just be really, really pretty. Again, this is not a color family that I usually gravitate towards, but after September, I'm just loving greens. And I didn't buy this when I was loving greens. I just bought it because it was like the only one that I wasn't getting, so I decided to get it. Um, then we have Birmingham Snowflake, which is not showing up accurately at all on this uh, camera right now. Hopefully it looks better in the video when I upload it. Um, it's like a turquoisey blue. It's kind of like a blue green. It's really pretty. It has um, some red uh, halo and some of the heavier inked bits. Um, I don't know that this ink like sheens sheens, but there is the possibility. I enjoy this color. Um, I know it's not for everybody, but I particularly enjoy it. And I think that um, this is the base color for whatever that twinkle is. I forget what the twinkle is called. I didn't get the twinkle because I don't know why I didn't. I just wasn't inspired to get it. Um, I already have like Emerald of Shavor and I also have Blue Snowball Nebula, although this is completely different than Blue Snowball Nebula. So um, yeah, so I just wasn't inspired to get that one, but uh, this is the base color, I believe, for that one. And it's just really pretty and I like it. Um, Birmingham Cold Steel. This is a beautiful um, dark blue, I would say even blue-black maybe. Here it is kind of against white so you can maybe see it a little better. Um, it doesn't look like on the card that there's any sheen or anything, It just looks, but it looks like it might have some nice shading. Um, not here in the glass dip pen writing, but um, just in general it might based on the color on here. Maybe not, I don't know, I could be wrong, but this is a really nice blue-black and I'm happy to have it. <clears throat> Next up we have um, Birmingham Pen Ice Rink. This is like a very bright, like kind of in your face, like regular blue. Um, I think I said earlier when it was wet that it reminded me of Midnight Blue from Twisby and I don't think that's the case now that it's dry, but it is a very nice blue ink. It looks like it has some red uh, haloing around it and some of the spots where I got some extra ink and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting this in a pen of some kind and using it. This look, this is a nice blue. Like this is my kind of like blue, blue. I mean, I know soda pop blue is like a little more turquoisey than this, but this is just like a really nice basic blue. But I think it's a little more interesting than the basic blue with the with the addition of like the haloing and stuff. I don't know. I think I'm gonna like this. I like it on the card anyway. We'll see what it does in a pen. But I usually don't have problems with Birmingham's, aside from the fact that slag gray is not slag gray. That's my only. That's my only beef. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so next up I have all the ones that I want to compare. Oh wait, hold on. Alternator Crimson, I did not swatch this ink because I had swatched it last time and it's the same formula. Just I just bought a backup bottle, but that's a refresher of what that one looks like. It's like a, a black that has like some red undertones. It's really pretty and I um, enjoy it a lot. So Waterfront Dusk is um, that's my old version which I think was mislabeled and this is the new version um, and then this is cranberry twinkle just so you can compare since we think that that this is the base color for that 
And just to show, this Twilight is more red than this one. Um, so, as always, Turtle is right, and I think this is the base color for Cranberry Twinkle. So if you like this color but you don't care for all the shimmer, um, pick yourself up a bottle of that. Um, yeah, or if you have the Cranberry Twinkle and you use it without shaking it and need to reconstitute your ink. <laughs> I don't know. I think I like... This one's okay. I like other blues. I have other blues that are like in this shade range, either in a sample or in a in an ink, and I just I could take that one or leave it. But I like the new version a lot. Like of this is like a reverse. This is a reverse slide gray right here. I love this version. And the only reason I don't love this version is because it's not as purple as I was expecting. So I already wasn't a huge fan of this one when I got it. And I don't. I feel like I swatched it in a video. And I think I was confused. So anyway, yeah, but I love, I love the new version better than the old version. So this one is uh, Twilight and these are obviously completely different. You can see that. Let me move these over a little bit. This one looks almost kind of like lavender and this one looks more red. I like both of these. I don't have a problem with either version of them. I don't have a bottle of this. I only have a sample of it. Maybe my opinion would be different if I had like a whole bottle to use, but I like both of these colors. I, yeah, I don't have a preference either way. I will use my sample. I will use my bottle. The only thing that makes me mad is that they use the same name and it's very obviously not the same ink. I don't, like, I think they could have chosen other names or tried to match a little better but I also don't make ink and I'm sure that's really difficult to do so um, that's just me as a user of fountain pen ink being mad that things are named the same when they obviously are not the same so yeah but yeah I don't as far color wise and uh, performance wise I mean I haven't had it in a pen but um, color wise I don't have a preference I like both of these so I will gladly use my sample, I'll gladly use my bottle, and I won't complain about it a bit. Um, next up we have Andy Warhol or just Pop Art Purple or a cat named Sam Pop Art Purple. These are different purples. I like both of them. I have most of a bottle of this. I have a brand new bottle of this. The Again, the same name and looking different is really what bothers me, but I like both of these inks and I will use them both gladly. So, yeah, I actually, I think if I had to say, if I had to pick a preference in this one, I think I would prefer the new version, um, but, but yeah, they're both amazing. I feel like, I think I said this earlier, um, I had to delete a couple sections because, um, I had some, like my mic wasn't on and it was, anyway, I can't remember if I said it in the swatchy part or in the this part that I just had to delete. Um, but, um, I feel like this is like an iconic, um, Birmingham pen ink. I think if you've used an ink from Birmingham pens, Andy Warhol pop art purple, is probably one of them that you've used. Um, and I don't think that's just because I like purples. I think that that seems to be one that was all over the place, but I like both. If I had to pick one, I'd probably pick the new version, but, um, yeah, they're both lovely. And, other than being named, well, this one is named a little different, so, mm, I mean, it still has the pop art purple, but, um, yeah, it's a little different, and I am not mad about those. Next up, we have, um, Gunpowder, or Gunpowder Black. This is the old version, which is more gray. This is the new version, which definitely looks more black, and I can appreciate that. Um, I like both versions. Um, this you know, I liked it when I um, swatched. I like both versions. This isn't black, which is probably my biggest um, complaint about it, that it's called black, but it's not really black. Um, it's like dark gray. I mean, I guess this probably is more dark gray too, but it's, I'm, I'm okay with it now. <laughs> so yeah, so I don't have any animosity towards these ones. I will use what I have left of that, which honestly, is not as much as it should have been because I dumped the bottle in a video you haven't seen yet. And um, yeah, and I will gladly use this ink as well. So I'm pleased with these. Um, yeah, so the only ones, like, preference-wise, definitely Waterfront Dust, the new version. Um, 
Pop Art Purple. I like both versions, but if forced to choose, I would choose the new version. Um, I don't really like... These are so different that I don't really have a preference. I like them both separately. I just don't think that they should be named. I mean, this one's just named Twilight, and this one's named Allegheny River Twilight. And the bottle for this one says Allegheny River Twilight, like, um, when it's talking about the story. I don't like that they're basically named the same thing and that they're two different inks. That they, like, look completely different. So that's my only. But I like both colors. I would use either happily. And then with this one... Um, if I had to choose a preference, well, I don't know. I like that gray, though. I like that color. I don't like that it's called black if it's not black, but this is black, and it's not called black, so. Like, can we just, like, flip-flop the names, and then everything is good? I like both of these. I If I had to choose between one, I, I wouldn't choose. So, yeah. So that's that. And then, oh, the Tomoe River paper. I almost forgot. So that's, those are my new inks. So here we have arugula, snowflake, um, this is ice rink, and this is, um, this is a really nice pretty blue black, cold steel. Um, this is uh, waterfront dusk, new version, old version. This is pop art purple, um, uh, old, new, uh, which is which, yeah, new version, old version. The old version has some gold sheen, which is pretty. Um, this one doesn't seem to have any sheen, or if it does, it's like black sheen, maybe? Oh, you can't even see it. Like right there. Um, or at least a halo. And then this is Waterfront Dusk. No, this is Twilight. The new version and the old version, they're completely different. Completely different. Not even remotely the same. And then this is a Gunpowder... Okay, so the the interesting thing here is this is gunpowder. This is the this is the new version and this is the old version. This this on Tomoe River paper the new version looks like the gray and the um old version looks black. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Unless I misswatched them, but I didn't because I was really careful about what I did. I mean, I guess I could have. I don't know. Like that's weird. Where are these inks? Twilight. I'm going to get a cotton swab and we're going to settle this once for all. I don't know what it is about this particular ink that makes me like mess up. I messed up the last time too. Waterfront desk. Purple. 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 I wish these boxes also had names on them, but I'm probably the only nerd that keeps their ink in the boxes still. Maybe not the only one, but I think most people take their inks out. Alternate crimson. Where the heck is all my ink? This is. Okay, so this is the new version. Is my old version down here then? This is the old bottle. This is the one that I spilled. This is the new bottle. I need a... Okay, so, old version. That's the old version. version. Yeah. 
It's still drying, but this one looks definitely more gray, and this looks darker. I loaded this one on, I guess. Um, that's hysterical. Anyway, cool. So that's that. It's awesome. I hope that you enjoyed this video and enjoyed uh, seeing me swatch some new inks, and yeah. Um, so I have one more... A birthday box thing. I haven't ordered it yet, but that's coming. It's another spendy thing. I feel remotely guilty about it, but also not. Um, and then, yeah. So, that's awesome. I'm ordering it tonight or tomorrow, and it should be here next week. And then Ink Flight also shipped and is in transit, so I should get that. I don't know if I'll get that this weekend or if I'll get it Monday. Um, hopefully I'll be able to record, if I get it this weekend, hopefully I'll be able to record the, um, unboxing. Um, well now that they're drying, they look almost exactly the same. Like, what the, what the hell? Anyway, I like this. So, um, so yeah, so Ink Flight will hopefully be this weekend, if not this weekend, on Monday. And, um, yeah, I hope I get it tomorrow. I don't think I'll be lucky enough to get it tomorrow. But if I get it Saturday, hopefully I can record it. It will depend on um, situations, um, but yeah, for sure by Monday, I think, well, if I don't get it Saturday, it'll show up Monday, anyway, Ink Flight will be up Saturday, Sunday, or Saturday, Monday, or Tuesday, <laughs> um, I'm also planning on filling, filming a Currently Inked, and, um, that will be up this weekend, I think, sometime, um, yeah, so, awesome, I have rambled on what, I think this is like a 45 minute video, anyway, I'm going to stop talking, and I will talk to you soon. Take care. Love you. Bye.